Greetings, fellow portal masters. Greetings, fellow portal masters. I'm Crash Rouser, and it's once again time to crash the Skylands. This is an ASMR episode. It's time to crash the Skylands. I'm just kidding. I can't whisper. It hurts to whisper. Does that make any sense? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Honesty Half Hour. If you don't know what this is, it's a series where I'm taking every single Skylander ever. Except for series two, three, four Skylanders, minis, and variants, and I'm putting them in the game and I'm playing a half hour with them. Well, five minutes to neutral, five minutes to neutral, so 20 minutes of gameplay. And then at the end, I'm giving them a definitive rating of one to five, one being the worst, five being the best. That's that's the start. So let's hop right in. No, I'm just kidding. So yes, so this is a series I've been doing for a long time. It's gonna be something I'm gonna be doing for a long time. <laughs> I regret this already. But I am taking every single Skylander, so if your favorite Skylander hasn't come up yet, just, just okay, just it'll show up, don't worry. Last episode, we had Gusto from the Trap Masters, and I gotta say, it's pretty exciting just using a lot of different Skylanders, like, because, I mean, Gusto was one Skylander that I ranked pretty low, and certain Skylanders got higher, certain Skylanders go lower, all that stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna waste any more time, and I'm gonna explain to you how I picked the Skylander, because I just realized I didn't do that. <laughs> if you don't know how I picked the Skylander, I have all these Skylanders put away in this tub. I've done this intro so many times, you think by now I would get it right, but I, I don't think I ever will. But ladies and gentlemen, I have all my Skylanders put away in these tubs. So all the Skylanders that still haven't been in one of these episodes is put into a random name picker. So what I do is click pick a random name and... So I'm write that down, I actually got it right. I click pick a random name and whatever Skylander comes up, I'm delegating a half hour to. As I said, 5 minutes to intro, 5 minutes to an outro, and 20 minutes of actual gameplay. And I think that's enough time to give a Skylander a good, fe good fair feeling of how they you know, playing and control and all that. So last week we had Gusto, this week, who are we gonna have? We'll talk to the name picker and find out. Still tons left, you see, still tons. We're gonna be at this forever. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have... Okay, this is gonna be a really fun one, and I'll explain why in a moment. So Torch is a Skylander that I put on my list saying that was pretty underrated, and you're saying, Crash, you have two in your hands, what's the point of that? Well, I totally forgot I have two of these figures. And I was actually hoping this would come up for an honesty half hour in the future because if you didn't know I've started up a series called Completing Your Collection. One of these torches is going to be the prize for the next one. So tomorrow, now future crash, you gotta remember this one, buddy. Tomorrow, that's gonna be the prize I'm gonna be giving out. So I'm gonna be like, hey guys, you remember that honesty half hour episode from yesterday, which is gonna be like two months from now. Hope I remember this. I'm gonna be giving away one of these torches, because one of these torches, if I'm not mistaken, is not leveled up at all, and the other one is fully leveled up, or close to level up, or something like that. I haven't really played as torch as a lot. And you're saying, Crash, you lied to us from the course, why would you do that? I did play with torch enough. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna put torch on the torches on the portal. We're gonna put two torches on the portal, and get this started. And we'll go from there. Alright ladies and gentlemen, here we are for another episode of the Honesty Half Hour. The timer has begun. We're playing as Torch. So, the Torch that you're currently playing as is the one I'm going to be using. And this is the one I'm giving away. So, Future Crash, remember which one is which. He probably won't. He'll have to look it up again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this one and put it in the mystery box of mystery right now. I knocked over my, like, my pop filter. There we go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's begin this. So, let's check out our powers. We have... It doesn't get much hotter. It doesn't get much hotter, guys. Did you know that? So I think... Oh my god, we don't have... Wait, I thought I had all her abilities! Okay, something's wrong here. Did I not save on her? I have... I definitely had at least her soul gem. Okay, I don't know what's up with that. I really like her soul gem. Press square rapidly to create the ultimate flamethrowers. That's the one I love, this one. That's why I'm confused. I thought I for sure had her. Cause this is what I like. Ready? Yeah. Think flame flare wolf flamethrower, but hers is way better. So we're gonna look at her. I'm gonna upgrade her even more here now, and try to get as many upgrades as I can before I continue. And I did the top path. I don't know what's going on. She was actually upgraded. I'm not even joking. So I'm kind of confused by this right now. So sorry, this is me watching me upgrade the Skylander. I think we'll have everything now. I don't know what happened with her. 
She was like level 13, if I'm not mistaken, and she had all of her upgrades. So I'm gonna have all of her upgrades now anyways. Just give me a second to buy them all again. I was I'm very I'm, I'm, trust me, this is not this is not me being like, oh he had them all upgraded, yeah, okay, sure. I legitimately thought I had them all, so. Alright, we have them all now for sure. <laughs> So this is her ability. So her main one is she has a double square, which turns into blue flame, which if you press square, it increases it. As you can see, oh, you have the same place for it. There we go. And then it becomes a super awesome heavy duty flamethrower. Circle ability, she throws these horseshoes. They are very good projectiles. Think of like um, Trigger Happy's pot thing. And the triangle is a hair whip move, which is very good for surrounding enemies. So. We're going to go straight into a level with her. I think that's going to be the new thing. I'm kind of sick of doing the arenas. And if you didn't notice, we have another Trap Team tour. It took us a long time in between. But uh, let's do... Monster Marsh. Monster Marsh sounds like a good one. It's not really one I do normally. So, it's a pretty good one. Still drinking that Rockstar. Sponsor. Just saying, if you want to. My DMs are open. Ask on Twitter. They're open, I think. If they aren't, sorry about that. If not, ashcrashcons at gmail.com. Here we go. Alright, let's get into this episode. My PlayStation is really loud. Oh, you can probably hear it in the background. I were you, I would turn Gomper, why would you call I me buddy? Why does he sound like Timon from the Lion King remake? A.K. Billy Eichner. But if you really want to get to the village... There's a crazy candle-headed guy who can take me. Oh, it's Litwick from Generation 5 of Pokemon. Shout out to Jap for being a Pokemon fan now. Trying to convert him for years. Took him long enough. Alright, so I'm really excited to do all of our abilities. Torch, as I said, is very underrated. So I'm really excited for you guys to get a good view of her for this. And you guys are going to have the opportunity to earn her now tomorrow. So that's the biggest part. Can I get some how can you how can you see me from all the way over here and how can I hear you it's just like it's just like crash not crash a spiral from uncrash spiral from the um, from imaginators in the opening level there we go see hero bully is excellent for the eyes actually in general it knocks knocks the guy back too I forgot about that hero knocks people back look at this these guys stuck haha <laughs> haha Easy kill. We're gonna pump it. Oh, or not. Never mind. I was gonna pump it louder. Oh, pump it. it. But because her flamethrower is a little bellow thing. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, used for fires to make them bigger. So you put it underneath the fire and you pump it. And it makes the fires bigger. So that's the point of her, um, her torch gun. So Which will... I'm actually gonna show you her abilities here. That's a good idea. Burning up, the charts. Burning up the charts. So it's a bellow. So yeah. So you press and hold square to roast enemies. You throw that. That also sticks to enemies too, which is really cool. No shoots farther. I got the whipping hair. Enemies with flame horseshoe stuck them takes extra damage from fire. So like once you get a horseshoe on them, you can flame them and it does more damage. Flamestorm blue makes it even hotter. And I did our upgrades. Now it can set the ground on fire. So now enemies in front of it will walk into it. The hair rope does more damage in range. And you got two bellows on it, and the hold one where you press for square. The other one upgrades the uh, horseshoes, which I don't really use the horseshoes compared to um, the actual bellow itself. But this is the series where I use all the uh, all of them. Maximum so firepower. maximum firepower, guys. Good job. I don't think I could kill those actually. I, had to, I think I had to have just jump, jumped over. Throw a horseshoe on them, or not? Oh. There we go. Horseshoe killed him. Play quick game of Sky Stones. <laughs> oh, I threw a horseshoe on him instead. Just the gate Don't touch that, Millington. The people here are prone to making bad decisions. Got a curse on our village, you know. Do you hate when that happens? Played Sky Stone Smash first. Ooh. If you win, you can pass. All right. Let the Sky Stones decide. Let the stones decide, like tarot cards. I like this Sky Stones game. This is actually probably one of my favorites. I think um, the Superchargers one is my favorite, if I had to pick one. But I really like this one. Uh, we're going to use you right away. It might backfire. It did backfire. Nice. Cuckoo Clocker. 
I'm gonna use you because this okay. should be able to take out both of you. Nice. We're just flying through these. Cruiser, cruiser. And we we'll put the smoke screen right in the middle, and that smoke is game. Screen. Easy. I'm actually glad you won. I wanted to let you buy, but just couldn't let myself make another bad decision. But the cards say you're all right. There we go. Okay, I was just waiting for him to stop talking because I couldn't skip that for some reason. Don't understand understand why some ski scenes are skippable and some aren't. Like um, Operation Troll Rocket Steel. There's a nice chunk that's skippable, and then there's a nice chunk that's not, and I somehow hit that. So like one thing I didn't like, especially now when I'm trying to like run through it, the level up Skylanders, and I can't skip half the scenes. Are stronger in Here we go. All right, this is a good spot to be able to use all the abilities for. The heat is on. Pew. The hair whip seed does a lot of nice damage there. There we go. So Torch's health is not the best. That's the one thing you're going to notice about Torch right away. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jeez, she lost a lot of health pretty quickly there. So yeah, as you can see, he has the... Never mind. I was going to show you that he has the uh, thing on him, but uh, it didn't stay there. Yeah, Torch has some pretty bad health. That's the one thing that a lot of people don't like about Torch. And that I can agree with, especially if she's, if you're not really great with the Skyline to begin with. Throw it. See, so now he had the uh, horseshoe on him, so he got more. He got hurt more. Sadly, you cannot throw the horseshoe really high up into the air, so you just kind of got to throw it and then hit him. But see, like, does a nice bit of damage with DJ Chew Boo. I don't see. There's no food around here, so it looks like I'm going to be hurt for a little while. Sorry about that. <laughs> I love that. It's telling you how to get rid of the curse, but he didn't. Villains are stronger. Villains are stronger in this zone. Oh man, I wish we had Blaster Mine now. We could fly through that puzzle and we wouldn't have to actually do it. So I'm sorry you're going to hear the boom, boom, boom for a while because Torch does not have good health. Oof. Speaking of good health. Oh, she knows. Come on. There we go. Alright, I was gonna say, I was like, I was trying to figure out how to get through this. I'm like, why is this taking so long? That was the first time completing that one. So nice of you. I love her, her name is Marcia, and she's in the marsh. You get it? I'm ready to proceed. Yes, I can. Does anyone know a person named Marcia? I actually do. I know one Marcia. She so grew up in my hometown. Beautiful. Even with the poison gases. Same. Had a nickel. Ooh, there's some health over there. I'm so happy to see a pretzel. You think everyone would want to live here? Nice. But the town oh. moved to higher ground a little while ago. I'm ready to proceed. So can you tell me? Yes, I'm ready to proceed. It ma it makes sense for like when you're trying to complete the game. Yep. So much bad luck. Mm -hmm. To me, though, there are no such thing as curses. There is, though, um, gothic Persephone. Felt emo might delete Persephone. But if you believe there are, you can make it real. Make more bad luck. This is, she's so weird. She's so weird. Who do you like more? Leave it in the comments. Persephone or Marsha? So instead... Believe in yourself. Believe you can make your own fate. I don't understand her. She's just weird. She's just strange. Just a random character that Skylar's just decided to add for no reason whatsoever. Like, for instance, I... Okay, we're through the swamp now. The town's just up this Like, way. for instance... Just Maybe runs away. Don't care. Apparently, there's no such thing in this place. We should shut up. Of the magic element. Okay, we're gonna pump the bellows. We're gonna pump the bellows. Here we go. Look at that. Ho, 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 ho. It's a good flame right there. 
We're gonna grab this. Pump the bellows, pump the bellows. Okay, so if you get hit while pumping the bellows, it stops the bellows. That's the other thing, too. Oh, I can't hit them! Oh, I didn't think I hit them in the air! Never mind! Alright! It all depends on the Skyliner, I guess. See, look at that. It does 38 when you hit them. Oh, Jesus. Three of these guys. Here we go. Blue flame, blue flame. Here we go. Let's, come on, let's get this over. Let's get him. It's an easy kill with them because you throw one horseshoe on them, they stop, and then you just flame them, and they die super quickly. Which is great for these guys, especially when I do the uh, core lock for Trap Masters in the future. Oh, oh, it's I-5. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, jeez. I might actually lose the I-5, to be completely honest here. Especially with all the other Skylanders that are going to be, or enemies that are going to be popping up here. I just got to stay running away, pretty much. Oh, he's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. Nope, he didn't hit me. Now he's gonna hit me. <laughs> yeah. I got stuck on something. That was my fault. Okay, so this is the part where you go, Crash, that's gonna give her a little bit of a, ra a different rating? Actually, yeah. We're gonna do... We're just gonna go to Soda Springs. <laughs> what time is it? It is... We got six minutes, so yeah, we'll go to Soda Springs. Just play around for a little bit longer. Just do some more of her moves on the uh, on the on sheep creep type thing, because there's no. Is there even enemies in this level? Oh, there is. What am I talking about? But yeah, we um, boomsticks. Boom sticks. So that's one thing about her. As you can see her health is only 500, uh, not even 500. Uh, once you level her up, obviously she'll get more health and all that. But her base health, I think. Let's just say stats. Like her max health is still got a nice bit of way to go so she'll get to about 700 which is not too bad um, it's not too bad but i mean compared to you say gusto you saw earlier who had over a thousand and he wasn't even leveled up and definitely that's because he's a track master who's supposed to be more powerful so far away i am no one moves turtles better than a Skylander or a Zookeeper. All right, we're going to... So, Sheep Creep, I'm going to do... The horseshoe, maybe? I'll do a horseshoe and just see if it sticks to him. Ill-fated Sheep Rebellion. But hey, this Ill -fated is sheep rebellion. opportunity to practice our trapping skills. Go ahead and take him down for me, will you? Okay. Everyone loves Sheep Creep. He is, as I said in my, um, in my every villain ranks, he's iconic. He's very iconic, but he weak. He ain't that great. I agree. Bad. Sheep Creep. Sheep Creep. So let's do a yeet. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. That did 200 damage. I don't know if you all y'all noticed that. Wow, that was a as a, as your boy Phil Swift would say. That's a lot of damage. Holy I agree. Old sheep creep sure got what was coming to him all I don't think sheep creep. I don't. I, I wasn't ready for that. Not even sheep creep. I wasn't ready for that. Whoo hoo. Man, oh man, so I threw, so I got two of those things on him, so it did 100 damage each, and then when I flamed him with the super flame, it went from 200 to 250. I don't know if you noticed that, which is a, which is a, that's a lot of damage, like I'm not even joking. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the Chobbies, this is the best place to show off my, um, the hair whip ability. I can't skip anything in this level for some reason. I'm not sure what Traptanium would be doing here, but I know that only the righteously awesome power of a Torsion, care, torsion, like crystal weapon can break it open. 
Right, here we go. So we're just gonna do hair whips so you can see. Hair whips does a nice bit of range, nice bit of damage. This is just hair whips a fine move for say these enemies, but I feel like a lot of people will just be doing this move. Because if you do a square, it does a quick flame like this. But most people are going to be holding down square on getting this blue flame ability. Or if you rapidly press square when it flames. Come on. It's not working for some reason now. There we go. Okay. Don't know what happened there was. Okay. Alright, I get it. You have to start. Okay, what you have to do is you have to press square and hold square, and then once it starts, rapidly press square. So you gotta go. And then start rapidly pressing square. There we go. Look at that flamethrower. Oh, Buzz is done for. Okay, we're trying on this next set of enemies up here. There's more enemies up here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, right here. The chompies. Come on, chompies. Let me show y'all how it's done. Come on down. Okay, that didn't... I forgot that Chompies are extremely weak. Secret Ninja Commandos. Okay, here we go. And once you do it, once you have it set up, you can walk with it. Look at that, 170, 178 damage. I was going to throw it on him. That's 380. 138. I love it. So much damage. So I think there's a couple more enemies coming up. So we'll... Oh, that actually hit me. How much time we got left? One minute. Actually, no. There's no point. Alright, we're going to just quit it to the main menu here now. I'm going to stop the timer. We have... Um, actually, it's less than a minute, it says there now. So yeah, I think I'm just going to... just gonna cut. I'm going to cut that now. Stop the timer. I think overall we have a good feeling for her with her moves and her health. So I think now we're going to cut to just my face and we're going to discuss Torch and I guess an overall opinion on her. Alright, so I apologize for the very loud buzzing. The PlayStation is uh, has been playing for is on for a very long time and for some reason Skylanders always makes it work harder for some reason. I don't know why. But, um, so the one thing about Torch is I don't understand why, but for some reason she didn't have her upgrades when I had her, so I just had to buy the upgrades. So you got to see the upgrades in person, so that was cool. Um, so I can tell you first of all, right off the bat, her bellows is probably the coolest thing. I absolutely love Flare Wolf's big flamethrower he has, and Torch does it better, in my opinion, because that's her main weapon. So getting used to the whole holding square and then pumping it up ability, that'll take a little while to get used to, but man, you've seen the damage it does. The um, horseshoes, it worked for characters that were high up. It hit them in the air, um, so you can actually take them down. I didn't get to use a lot because unfortunately I was getting attacked a lot, so I couldn't really show more of those throwings. And the hero ability, I said, is kind of just a basic ability. You would kind of use it when you're taking on like chompies or big hordes of enemies, but even along that, you'll probably just use your bellows. Her health is very low. She's at level 11, and she's only 486, and you've seen how fast I lost health in just one of those battles, so she was level 11, so imagine doing, say, if you're in a lock with her, it's going to be very hard to get Torch very far in the game, especially because I remember, I don't know if you, spoilers for the mini lock, I lost both Small Fry and We Rupter in one place that was in the Fire Realm, so imagine having Torch there, especially with her low health, so... Torch is one of those characters that once she gets upgraded is probably a million times, is a, it definitely a million times better. Once her health is up to a decent amount, once you do level her up, she's one of those characters you kind of got to get to level 20 to make her good, which kind of sucks. Overall, I think her moveset, 2 out of 3 is excellent, her health is not great, and the third move with the hair whip is something you're not really going to use. I think a fair rating for Torch is 3 out of 5. So, as I, I don't do half range, I would have easily done 3.5 out of 4 out of 5, but I can't, I don't do half range, so I'm gonna have to go with the 3 on the lower ranking just because, um, because of her health. It's, it'll get you into sticky situations. I was playing one of the easier levels and she died. And I'm playing on medium, like the, the adventurer, like the second difficult, not the highest or the third one. So, playing with her is gonna get frustrating, just straight up. But the bellows are amazing, the horseshoes, especially with the bellows, is awesome. It's just you have to upgrade her to get a good Skylander, which 
it's kind of kind of bad if you just get it right off the bat. So enjoy that the person who's going to be winning that tomorrow. So as I said, tomorrow I'll come back for an episode of completing your collection. I'm going to be giving away that torch. So future crash, you better remember this. I'm actually going to write it down now after this to make sure. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, you enjoyed. Let me know. Leave a like in the comment below. And let me know your opinion of torch while you're down there, and let me know what scholar you're excited to see in a future episode of the Honesty Half Hour. But as always, I beat you. <laughs>